Good morning, beautiful people. I'm Rav. If you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. I'm a full-time RVer, and I'm gonna show you where we boondocked last night. Let's go. I don't know what time you're watching this, but it's a little bit before 8 a.m. here in beautiful Yucca Valley. Got a great night's sleep. We're out here getting some stuff out of our storage. Finally sold the Ryobi generator. So I'm taking that to its new owner this morning and he's gonna give me cash. One generator, two generators. Both are sold this morning and I'm headed to go drop them off with their new owners. Meeting one for the Briggs and Stratton there, their power mate, I'm meeting him on the way and then going out to Corona, California and delivering the Roby, Ryobi. And then I'm gonna be buying something that's gonna be a surprise for you guys, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool and I think you're gonna like it. But I wanted to show you the remnants of my life, what come out of my house because it's all right here on the other side of the camera. So there it is. That's it guys, that's all my stuff. I just took my bike off, my beach cruiser, because it's rusting being in LA. So I didn't like having it on the back. Yep, but there's all of my crap. Ugh, all my junk. I need to get rid of more stuff. If I'm gonna live that minimalist life, I need to get rid of most of this stuff probably this motorcycle right here really should go i had to drain all the gas out of it everything so it's no gas to store it in here i also have my land rover my tr other truck my suv is stored in here as well not in here but at this storage facility i thought i should clarify that My life, new life. I just wanted to touch base guys. Uh, the sale went perfectly smooth this morning with both of the generators. The guy was like $6 short because he didn't bring the right money for the first one. He had like two days. Why would you not have the right amount of cash? Could not believe it but anyway he didn't have the right amount of money but i spotted him the six bucks or whatever and then i got to the second place where the guy gave me five dollars extra so it all worked out but now we have driven like a hundred miles up to semi semi valley california and we're going to go look at possibly what we might be buying maybe let's go look All right, we have arrived. Let's go take a look at this thing. All right, we made it here and here's my bike. And this is Jeff and he actually builds these bikes. And this is one that he's got for sale for 1200. And give us some specs on it, Jeff. Uh, 66 CC, it's got a reed valve motor, um, an MZ chamber, uh, front and back disc, uh, hydraulic disc brakes with 203 uh, millimeter discs, a uh, state bottom bracket, and it does about 65 miles an hour. 65 no miles kidding. an hour. Yeah. And this How is many cc's my, is that? 66 cc's. 60 cc's. And um, th they're pretty fast. Uh, we got hydraulic brakes on them. They stop. We got some good suspension. They're real fun to ride. I enjoy them. I enjoy building them, man. 
And this is, how much is this one did you say? I don't know how much I have in this one. That one's just not for sale, basically. Yeah, it's just not for sale. It's my personal is, bike. Right. Um, is that a, is that a, a two? It's 66 cc's. And is it, it's a two-stroke as well? It's a two-stroke okay. as well. But it has a um, reading case Dodge motor on this. Um, it's got a 24 millimeter Uco car, and it has front and rear disc brakes just like the blue bike, 203 millimeter, and race pads in the front on front and the back. Um, this is my personal bike. I, I ride it around town, but I'm gonna have to get a driver's license, a motorcycle license, because so I can ride with the flow of traffic. Because this thing cruises at about 65. So, wow. Um, so you're gonna have to. I, you, I've had it close to 72 miles an hour. So. Are you gonna have to register it and everything? Um, I'm just gonna get a motorcycle up. license, and I get my plate, and I can put my plate on any uh, okay. of the bikes and ride as I as I will. That's awesome. Thanks. Right. A lot of people uh, told me to go with an electric bike, but because of my motorhome situation, it would be impossible for me to try to charge an electric bike for four hours, and that's why I went with this option. And the other reason I went with this option is every electric bike that I found had a range of 20 to 35 miles and with this I'm gonna get 85, 85 to, to a tank 85 miles to 100 to a tank. Mile, 110 yeah. miles if you buy Depending a stock on, bike and how much I uh, pedal so exactly so this one is going with me yep Come on in here, Ralph. We'll see you. Show you what's up. This is the gas bike shop. Not very big, but I get a lot of stuff done in here. So um, I do a lot of client repairs. Um, I got over probably 250 clients that I have to deal with that I've built bikes for and stuff. So I'm on bike 197 wow. in uh, two and a half years. So, That's amazing. Um, yeah, I've been pumping them out. This client's bike, he crashed it. Um, it got kind of hammered, so now I'm replacing the motor. The dead motor is on the floor. That's what happens with the China motors. We just toss them out, um, put another one in. So basically, um, that's one of the little eBay $100 motors. $100 motors. So and someone bought a cheap motor and it, and it didn't last. It lasted about two weeks. Two weeks? Two wow. weeks. Because I was going to do that with my beach cruiser. Yeah. Because somebody told me to do that. Yeah, you got to like. And then I started looking take around care and of found them, you. And, and it was in the sand. It was in the, there was water inside of it oh. when I got it. I so think this, they jumped it off so the your floor. motors, what do you? I don't want to. I'm not asking your source, but they're American or they're American. Or they oh, come what? out of China, but my my uh, guys right here in Van Nuys. Okay, gotcha. All the motors and my kids come out of Van Nuys. Gotcha. Um, it's it's all it's starting. To, it's going to be all U.S. because they pretty much bought out all the China oh. motors and all the supplies, and they have everything. They get so to come really right nice, out of. I mean, you can get these really nice wheels, wheels for them. And they sell these tanks and nice. um, all kinds of twist throttles and aftermarket stuff and upgrades, you know. So wow. there's always something you can extra you can put on there, you know. Um, aluminum heads, but a dual spark plug aluminum oh, head, wow. not just one. Yeah, wow. it really puts some power out. And, uh, uh, I've been known to uh, do some pretty good porting. My bikes are, are probably. A, Pretty so you're cheating the heads yourself? Uh, yeah, I do all the porting. Wow. I do all the stuff myself. Nice. So, yep. There you have Keep it, guys. You. If you need a bike, if you need a bike fixed, Jeff is your man. Jeff's gas bikes. Je Jeff's gas bikes. All right, guys. We're going to get on the road. All right, guys. So, I got the bike. As you can see, I have it in... I have it in the motorhome for right now. I'll probably be putting it on the back of the RV. Time permitting, it looks like it's gonna rain, so I decided to put it inside. I also need to get another lock for it. I have one already, but I'll get another one just to make sure that it's very secure on the back because I've lost one bicycle off the back of this. But I'll be keeping it inside if I'm leaving it or anything, I'm not gonna leave it on the back, but I'll probably carry it there when I'm transporting or when I'm driving. Uh, pretty excited about it. The reason I decided to get one of these is a, motor, a motorized bicycle, a DUI bike, some people call them. The reason I decided to get one is because I have a Harley, as most of you know, to put a lift, a hydraulic lift on the back of this motorhome to carry my Harley, I'm looking at a, probably a minimum of $1,500 to $2,000. So, and that thing is 500 pounds. I'm not sure I wanted to carry it around on the back of this motorhome anyway. So. I was looking around and the other thing is I didn't want another vehicle. I looked at, you know, like 150cc, 
you know, Yamaha 250 cc's, uh, smaller motorcycles, but I didn't want, I didn't want to have to register and have insurance and all of that jazz on another vehicle. So that is why I decided to go with this motorized bicycle because you don't need any of that. And it's motorized and I pedaled it. I pedal it. So it pedals. If I want to just ride it as a bike, I can ride it as a bicycle. But if I want to get there quicker, if I'm running late for work, I can start it up and zip right to work. The top speed on this thing, a little over what uh, you can get away with lawfully i would say i guess but i don't have a speedometer on it so i don't know that for a fact i'm gonna run in to get some two cycle oil so if i need to get gas for it i'll have the oil for it so i'm super stoked i have to get the uh, get this thing going and do some motor vlogging Woohoo! all right guys as you can see i uh went ahead and picked up some safety stuff some riding gloves this will be a speedometer to hold my phone so i have a speedometer uh, and then we have a headlight and a tail light and an actual full face helmet. I'm not really much on helmets, but I plan on trying to do some moto vlogs. So I figured I could hide my microphone in the face mask of the helmet. And one other reason I decided to go with a helmet is I really didn't plan on buying a helmet but Jeff told me to be sure and get a helmet because he has crashed on his and uh, he hit his head pretty good. So he said, be sure to get a helmet. And he said he wore a, four, a full face helmet. So that's what I went ahead and did was get a full face bicycle helmet. So hopefully if I fall and hit my head, this will help cushion the blow because these bikes do run 45 miles an hour. So that is pretty freaking fast if you crash. And that should, uh, be able to do moto vlogs hopefully i've never done a moto vlog so i'm hoping that that works great but i have no idea we'll have to wait and see uh it's going to be a little bit more complicated running the wire from my external sound recorder but i think i can work that out so we get all this stuff on the bike uh, definitely spent more money today than i planned on even after selling my generators pretty much spent all that money which i hadn't planned on doing but Anyway, we got this baby here, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. Can't really see it very well in here, but I'm going to get some stuff on there and uh, get the headlight, the safety stuff. So I'm going to get the headlight on, get the batteries out, get the tail light on. Probably going to cruise for a little ride around tonight just to check it out. It's kind of a pain to get in and out of the motorhome, but uh, hey, it's... If I'm going to ride it, I got to get it out. So I'm going to do that. Uh, but anyway, guys, I just wanted to say thank you for joining me today. Thank you guys that have subscribed to my channel. I really and truly, really appreciate that. I know my is just a little hunky-dory channel. But you guys that are following along, I really do appreciate you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you haven't subscribed, think about it. If you want to just click that subscribe button be sure to hit that little bell right next to the subscribe button so it'll notify you every time i upload a new video so you can check it out all right guys i'm gonna wrap this up it's been a long day i started in joshua tree this morning about 150 60 miles from where i am now in uh, porter ranch i went to Simi valley to pick up the bike i'm in porter ranch walmart now it's no overnight camping here i've stayed here one night before but they'll probably run me off but I'm really tired and hoping they'll just leave me alone. I have a receipt for the stuff I bought. So maybe they'll leave me alone and let me get a good night's sleep. And I'll get out of here first thing in the morning and go find a good place to ride my bike. And remember, if you can't be good, at least be good at it. Peace, people. See you next time. Bye.